Chris, I understand that, that the 6.7 in the marine uh, industry is the same as the 6.7 in the Ram. Can you help me with what the similarities are between the two engines? Yes, yeah, sure, Clint. They, they are the same engine. It's both a, they're both 6.7 liter engines. Um, they were developed at the same time. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that is the same in the power cylinder and internals of the engine. How about the turbocharger? Now, this has a variable geometry turbocharger. Does the marine engine? The marine engine has a water-cooled, uh, waste-gated turbocharger. We don't, uh, at this point, need the variable geometry to meet emissions. And, and I understand that you're at 550 horsepower for your, your high rating. Uh, we're at 385. Can you help me understand how you got to 550? Well, the chief difference is we have seawater to cool the engine. So there's a lot more we can do to get power out of the uh, package. And, and you also have high pressure common rail on we the do. 6.7s? Uh, we have a very similar uh, system that's on the RAM pickup. We use a larger nozzle to deliver more fuel into the engine, but the system is essentially the same. Those are some of the similarities. Can you help me with what's different between the two? Well, the chief differences are that uh, the, the marine engine is seawater cooled, so we have uh, no external surfaces on that engine that uh, get hot in the engine room. We use seawater to cool the um, heat exchanger in the engine, and uh, we use seawater for the charge air cooler. Chris, can you tell me the difference between the emissions technologies on the two products? The uh, RAM is certified to EPA 2013 on highway emissions. The QSB 6.7 Marine it meets Tier 3 Marine regulations. So there are differences between the two products, but bottom line, whether you get a 6.7 in Marine or a 6.7 for the RAM, you get the reliability and durability of the Cummins Turbo Diesel. Absolutely, yes.